So we went into the doctor because we couldn't feel baby Dexter moving anymore inside of us. And we found out that he wasn't getting everything that he was supposed to be getting from me anymore. So we found out that we were going to have him that day. And we went and we had him in about an hour with a C-section. He went right to the NICU, um, spent some time there working on his collapsed lung and then really learning how to eat. We spent 18 days there and were finally able to bring him home when he was about four and a half pounds. Being able to stay in Sheboygan allowed our family to be together. Um, I was able to stay at the hospital the whole time so we could be part of all of his feedings and get all of our snuggle and kangaroo time in so that we weren't, we didn't have to miss out on that initial bonding experience that all moms get. Um, Dad was able to keep working and see us at night so that once we got home, we could spend our quality time together. We really appreciated all the love and support from the NICU nurses, not only for Dexter, but for us as a family emotionally. You can tell that they really care about what they're doing and are there for everybody. Being that I had gestational diabetes and my family's babies usually were nine and 10 pound babies, I had prepared myself to have a large baby myself. So the day that we went in and had Dexter right away, I was still expecting maybe to have a six pound baby being three weeks early. And when he came out and was three pounds, 12 ounces, we were absolutely shocked. Dexter did so well in the NICU that he went home at just over four and a half pounds. And now at almost three months, he is just over nine pounds and is absolutely healthy as can be with no medical problems. I had always planned on breastfeeding my baby. So when Dexter came out small, and he wasn't able to latch on and we didn't want him to burn calories doing that. The staff helped me to get started pumping right away so he could still get that special mother's milk. And Kristen spent a lot of time with us um, helping us figure out how to best do that. At first, before he was really eating, we were able to take any little drops we got and bring them down and do oral care with them. And the staff was very helpful with that. Kristen provided a lot of emotional support to me with not being able to breastfeed right away that eventually once he got a little bit bigger she would work with me as much as I wanted to try to get him to latch on and start actually breastfeeding.